Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Frank Stephens. I, I, I speak for myself today. Nonetheless, I, I, I am the Global Down Syndrome Fund Foundation, proudly supporting the Linda Cerning Institute for, for, for Down Syndrome. the first academic home in the United States committed solely to research and medical care for people with Down syndrome. In 2017, I testified on behalf of Global in an historic congressional hearing seeking additional funding and in an interdisciplinary approach to, to Down syndrome research at at the National Institutes of Health. That that day we made a difference. Hundreds of millions of new research dollars will flow to Down syndrome and Alzheimer's research. And NIH has adopted the interdisciplinary approach to its, its include project. I am also here today as a man with Down syndrome. As such, I will try to represent the, 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 the interests of the thousands, of the hundreds of thousands of, of Americans who have one more chromosome than the rest of you. Because I have Down syndrome, I am virtually certain to, 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 to develop Alzheimer's if I live long enough. I am one of those CMS presumably refers to an, an NCD when they When they say the the diversity of patients included in CMS approved trial must be a representative of the the, the national population diagnosed with with Alzheimer's. Moreover, because down syndrome and Alzheimer's appear to be closely linked. Treatments aimed at Alzheimer's may unlock new ways to improve cognitive abilities throughout the lives of people with Down syndrome. Finally, I am here today as a man trying desperately every day to help my mother, who happens to maintain dignity, to, to happens and maintain dignity and the sense of herself and her family as she fights what so far is an, an unwinnable battle against Alzheimer's. I am there at the battlefront, desperate for the ammunition that new Alzheimer's treatments may give us to fight the terrifying relentless attack on my mother's mind and body. I feel hopeless as I watch her become more childlike and frail with each passing day. 
Make no mistake, this is an enemy that stalks us all. It lies in wait for the chance to steal life from each of us. Has worked a lifetime to build. We all have a stake in this fight. So, those are my credentials. This is why I am here today. Before I say this next thing, I, I must admit I am not a legal scholar or law professor. Though I have lectured at, at Harvard Law School, I am also a part of a family full of law school grads. Some of it was bound to, to uh, rub off. I think Medicare's national coverage determination decision affecting monoclonal antibody treatments for, for Alzheimer's may be a case of bad facts make bad law. I am not qualified to speak to, 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 to the science of these potential treatments or to the economics of their, 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 their widespread use. I will have to sit out of the dance of power and money that Medicare, the FDA, and the drug companies are, are engaged in. I, I am qualified to say that I am very afraid that those of us at the battlefront are about to become collateral damage from the latest proposed step in that dance. If the, if the NCD is president to all drugs current in the pipeline for clinical trials, then their potential avoidably be delayed for years. Will almost certain be de delayed for, for years. We are virtually never a part of trials, but for the kind of fellowship, follow-up research contemplated by 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 NCD. E e even worse, the NCD requires a trial that does not in include patients with any neurological or other medical condition that may significantly contribute to, 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 to cognitive d d d d d d decline. That virtually guarantees people with Down syndrome cannot have access to any of these drugs during the evidence development phase. The trials of, of drugs of this type in the pipeline, including three that are, that are, that are, are in phase three trials, are certain to be extended to greater additional specificity called for by the, by the, the NCD. Some possible new venues may be uh, abandoned by drug company companies do their their calculus they their their calcul of a new uncertainty in this process finally the ncd turns directly counter to the spirit of the 21st century cures act 
the NDC would result in slower, less efficient clinical development process for the next set of Alzheimer's therapies in the pipeline to continue to silence the perspective of the hundreds of thousands of adults with Down syndrome who may be the most likely subset of people to have this 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 disease i do not know the answer to 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 to, to the to the concerns that led to the the, the the ncd but i am asking that my community not be made to bear the, the to bear the brunt of of, of those of those concerns by being effectively shut out by potential new treatments for years while this dance plays out. Thank you.